What is going on people? Today we're testing out a new type of Ashes video where we dive into the map of Era to put together what we know about each zone, what will be in it, and the type of environment we can expect. And honestly, the more I dug into this, I find a lot more information than I thought Intrepid had originally shared. So today we are jumping into the most northwestern zone, currently going with the internal name of Tabletop Mountains according to Intrepid Zone Map. Now don't let these maps fool you either. By the map, I was thinking that the tabletop mountains would be a zone filled with rocks and dead grass with not a lot of color tones. As it kind of is on the map, it makes it seem a little bit more desolate and all of that. And you can tell by its name that it has relatively flat mountains as well. But when we dive into some of the concept art, which on ArtStation is revealed as the Tabletop Mountain Zone, we can see it's actually a very beautiful looking zone. You can see that there is a lot of grass and plants and waterfalls falling off the mountains behind the bridges in the background. And these mountains are all but confirmed to be the ancestral home of the Dunir Dwarves. The map shows us that there is a starting zone up here, and with the Dunir looking to live in the mountains, I am almost 100% certain that this is their zone. On the surface of the tabletop mounds, you will find lots of dwarven architecture from statues guarding the way to bridges leading you from one mountain to the next, or potentially even to that newfound node your fellow dwarves have contributed to. We can also bet there'll be ruins of civilization that once came before the fall of Vera. As for creatures, we know that there will be some rock hawks over there as these creatures like to lay their eggs in the wild and stony terrain of the Northwest Mountains, aka the Tabletop Mountains, and we can also expect the Boulder Stone Bulldogs whom are native to these mountains as well, as these guys make for great mounts for the Dunir and are heard to create inseparable bonds with their dwarf owners. This zone seems to be pretty influenced off the Tabletop Mountains in South America, also known as Tepui, which have creatures such as llamas, possums, and and more rodent-like creatures where I wouldn't be surprised to see a more fantasy turn on some of these creatures as Intrepid continues to work on these mountains. For those of you out exploring seeking to craft, I would imagine this zone would be rich with mines and ores for people to gather if that's the artisan path they go down. Obviously this is just speculation, but with dwarves cutting into the mountains for mining and resources being scarce throughout the world, it wouldn't surprise me if this is one of those zones you would be wanting to set up trade routes for or head there yourself to make the best armor in the game. We can expect more than just what lies on the surface for this zone though, as these massive mounds were once filled with dwarven civilization, so that means that the dwarves cut into the rocks and created mines inside the mounds for you to explore. You can expect to see massive ancient caverns filled with the abandoned work of the Dunir ancestors before them, along with whatever creatures have taken up home in these mounds since the fall, which could make for some pretty cool open world dungeons or raids for those who dare make their way inside. The Duns and Dwarf Nation is one of the oldest in Vera and the dwarves were the first of the major races and were here for a very long time so you can expect to see a lot of very very old dwarven history in these mines. Looking at the node map there are roughly 12 nodes within this zone but I'm unsure if this includes the black mountains towards the north or if those are part of the fjords. But either way there is plenty of land to be conquered and to shape your way on the server as those nodes are probably key to some pretty unique dungeons and will probably make for some very interesting sieges up high on those mountains. What are your thoughts on the tabletop mountains and do you want to see more zone videos like this? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use the referral link in the description below where all referrals will go towards benefiting this channel. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.